how to target your quads or your glutes more effectively, follow along and we'll teach you the secret. All right guys, if you follow this channel for any considerable amount of time, you know my obsession with form and exercise. And one of the things that I've always noticed to be a huge factor in growth, and if you look at someone's development, is if they have big quads or they have big glutes. Typically, they don't always go hand in hand. Especially guys, for some reason, they'll either have a really developed low back glute hamstring or they'll have a really developed quad. And to me, that stems from a lot of their squatting patterns. And it's because they either A, feel comfortable pushing their hips back, which is gonna be glutes and hamstrings, low back, or they feel comfortable driving their knees over their toes and they have monster quads because of it. So something else that can drastically impact that is your ankle mobility. That's a completely different video, <laughs> but that's something I did want to touch on. So if you struggle or lack ankle mobility, nine times out of 10, your quads are going to be very underdeveloped because you can't to get a lot of action of getting those knees over your toes and getting depth on a squat or a hack squat or leg press. So what I thought we would do here is go over three exercises, show you how to do them for quads, show you how to do them for glutes, and then there you can take and start applying to your training. So if you're a wellness competitor, if you're a bikini girl who wants to really target their glutes, or if you're a dude who needs to get bigger glutes or bigger quads, put this into play and start getting to growing. So let's start with this yoke bar squat and we'll talk through the two different variations. All right, so we have the yoke bar here. Doesn't matter, yoke, spider, barbell, front squat, none of that matters. What matters here is my hip and my knee. So I'm gonna unrack the bar. Today we'll start with quads. I know you'll see a lot of really famous trainers on the internet say, oh, it has to do with foot spacing. It doesn't. Foot spacing doesn't matter. Foot spacing matters for if you're gonna hit your adductor, not glutes or quads. So let's start with quads. What I wanna think about here is, I want, again, I wanna break the knee first and then drop my ass in the hole, take my knees over my toes, so we're here. Break the knee, bam. Look at that, look at that action. Knee over toe, this is primarily quad for me. Now, Chris, I wanna hit glutes on this. Hips, gotta break first, gotta go this way. Hips. 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 Show it again, quad, knee, this way. Sit in the hole. Sit in the hole. Glutes, hips, back. Sit back into that squat. Sit back into that squat. I know that looks really simple, but when you get heavy load on your back, you have to think about what you want to target. So it's breaking the knee, breaking the hip. Number one principle today. Now, let's show you some split squats and how we can take that to the next level. We're here in split squat because you know, we love it. Mountain dog, OG for life. So, spread our feet. Now, what we want to think about here, if I'm doing this exercise for quad, my chest has to be north and south. My knee has to get over my toe. So I'm here, I'm pushing back against the rack for balance, but also so I don't fold forward. So push into the rack, knee up, Look at that, heel, flat on the ground. Look at my knee. Just like that, I'm gonna drop that dumbbell. Get it out of the way so you can see. Here. Look at that. All quad, I'm smashing that sweep. Now, glute, what I wanna think about. I'm gonna go forward with my torso to lengthen the glute. And I'm to think about knee being directly over my ankle. So we're here. Here, lengthen the glute, lean forward my chest, knee over ankle. Look at that alignment, just like that. Just like that, and you can really crank forward, huge stretch on the glute. Look at that. Again, break of the hip versus break of the knee. Same premise, knee over toe for quad, hip back, knee over ankle for glute. All right, last thing here, the cable step up. So we've never done this on the channel before, but D handle hooked to the low cable. I have roughly a one and a half foot box. I'm gonna place my working leg on this box here. Now, what I wanna think about here is if I'm gonna squat and use my quad as the primary driver, is I have to stay tall and go up. Stay tall and go up. So I come down, look at my knee over my toe and up. Torso up, just like the split squat. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Now, let's transition to glute. So with this, I'm gonna sink down and then watch what I did there. So this is for quad, right? Sink down, lean forward, glute. Glute. 
glute. Just like that. Just like that. There you have it. Another quad versus glute video. And I love it because I want to beat it into people's head. <laughs> if we're training quads, there's an optimal way to do it. If we're training glutes, there's an optimal way to do it. And yes, I know that some people are like, oh, it's too technical. But if you know how a muscle form and function, and you understand how it works biomechanically, you can take it to the next level. You can make your pump bigger and better. And that means you're gonna have more growth. So if you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, quads, knees over toes, glutes, hips back, back, back. It's a secret. Until next time, Griffin TV.